Hello everybody, thank you for watching this video for your tropical update. I'm meteorologist Marco Lomano. So we have now tropical depression, Carl. It's actually weekend because of the wind shear it's encountering. Winds at 35 miles per hour. It needs to be at 39 to be a tropical storm. So it's gone down from 40 yesterday to 35. Moving to the west at 14. Here's San Juan, here's the islands of Hispaniola. This is the projected track along with the wind shear. So notice as I move to the northwest, look at all this wind shear it's encountered. A lot of models were not picking this up the last few days. National Hurricane Center had some discussion on this as well. Due to the fact that it's encountering a lot more wind shear than the models were picking up, it's having a much harder time developing. And due to that, it's encountering very unfavorable conditions. Now it is expected to eventually re-intensify into a tropical storm, but regardless whether or not it intensifies into a hurricane or becomes a major hurricane, which looks much more unlikely. Um, it's still expected to make that turn to the northeast by Saturday. So here we are in the Sun Coast, but this will be going around the Bermuda High. Hurricanes, tropical systems in general, really like to ride the Bermuda High. And if the Bermuda High is strong and extends to the coast of the, um, because of the U.S., a lot of times these storms will make their way into the southeast. But because the Bermuda High is stationed here, this would be going around it, away from land. Also, I want to show you Tropical Storm Lisa off the Cape Verde Islands. This one is going to quickly move to the northwest and eventually dissipate by this weekend. So Lisa, you know, that's another storm, another name storm, but it is not going to be any threat to land. It's what we call a fish storm, just staying out there, uh, not causing any trouble. We'll continue to watch as we are still in an active period, but for now, smooth sailing for us in the Atlantic.